All right, uh, welcome to another edition of Philly Young Mudo's Stay at Home Workout. Um, today we're going to be working on kicks, uh, so you're not going to need too much. Have your usual water bottle, um, maybe some light medium weights we'll use in the warm up portion. Um, other than that, remember our goal is to just have a little bit of fun, get in a good workout, practice a little bit of Young Mudo skills. Um, if you're having a bad day, I don't know, it's, it's 1230 already, you could be having a bad day. I know that we've had hours in our house cooped up to, uh, um, you know, get into some distress. So for me, this is another door closing and a door opening so that we can have a, a good, lovely afternoon, all of us, and uh, if it's for you. Um, I do want to apologize because I almost did this outside. It's like 67 degrees, sunny, and I could have put it underneath falling cherry blossoms. Um, but I thought that might be unfair if you were, I don't know, stuck in your own basement. So, um, you know what, in an hour we'll be done, go outside, get a good walk outside, do some gardening, even if you don't want to, just to, to make yourself get out there. Um, so, uh, with that, we'll just go ahead and get started on workout. So, as usual, we're going to start with our jumping jacks, uh, and then we'll do some circuits, get our legs warmed up, do some stretching, and then turn to kick. So, find yourself a little bit of space. And ready for jumping jacks. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, and stop. All right, next we're going to turn to our circuits. I'm uh, going to start off with our crunches and our sit-ups, uh, sorry, crunches of your choice and push-ups. So we're gonna do 20 crunches and then 10 push-ups. Again, all your choice. Um, and if you're curious, yes, when I'm home by myself working out without a camera, I'm still counting out loud. I don't know why, I still just do it. All right, so crunches of your choice. I'm gonna start off nice and easy. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. On your fronts for push-ups of your choice. I want to hear Will clapping. Ready, and one, <laughs> two, three, yay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On your backs, crunches or sit-ups of your choice. I'm going to go to my leg lifts. You guys know I love my leg lifts, so that's what I'm doing. Hands underneath your bum for a little bit extra support. You want to start legs up. Um, I'm actually going to not lock my feet together. I'm going to let both legs go a little bit more independently. It's going to look less pretty, but this way I'm working on uh, more muscles. All right, ready, and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Back on your fronts. Second set of push-ups of your choice. I'm gonna go wide on this one. Remember to get those shoulders still over your hands. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Third set of crunches or leg lifts or sit-ups of your choice. I'm gonna do the leg lifts but with a twist. A um, little bit more fun, but I'm going to have my hands out to the sides. And ready. One, two, 
Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, good, all right, on your front, push-ups, third set of your choice, and up, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Oh, good. All right. Next, uh, we're going to do squats. So grab your light or medium weight. Um, we're going to do a, we're going to do lunges and then squats. We're going to do basically five left, five right on lunges, a static lunge. And then we're going to bring both feet together for a squat. So start with um, nice long stance, about two shoulder widths plus apart. And from here, um, we're going to lower down and then just come back up. You don't have to go all the way down. And you're going to get a big difference depending on kind of six inches of shift. If you're way back, it'll be all back leg. It comes six inches forward, it's all front leg. I'm going to try to go in the middle. So I'm working a little bit of quad and a little bit of glute at the same time. So we're going to do five left five right, and then five squats, okay? And we're going to do a couple of cycles of that. So, starting left foot forward, right foot back, easy lunge, and one, two, three, four, five. Switch sides, or turn around, and one, two, three, four, five. And squats, ready, 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, back to our lunge, left foot forward, right foot back. Remember to find that sweet spot moving forward and back to where you're getting the right muscles you want. Try to keep your back straight otherwise, nice and easy, and one. Two, three, four, five, and switch sides, right foot forward. And one, two, three, four, five, and squats, both legs together. Think about sitting down on a chair. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, drop down. Let's just do five quick push ups. Let's give our legs a break. Ready? Push up position. One, two, three, four, five. Back up. One more set of lunges and squats. Ready? Left foot forward, right foot back. Back straight, find that sweet spot, and one, two, three, four, five. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. And towards squats. Think about sitting down, hinge, hip, back straight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more push ups. Ready. And one, two, three, four, five. Good. All right. Put your weights off to the side. Um, next, um, we're going to do some stand ups. 
Oh, gotta make sure we're nice and warm before we do our kicks. So, um, standard stand up position. Uh, we've been working on this a bunch. Left hand is up, left knee is up, right hand is down, right leg is down, flopped on the side. As we do this, we're gonna begin with a pop up to support. My right hip's now off the ground. Only my feet, two feet and hands are touching. Step back in a nice arc, come up nice and strong, okay? Then come back down. If you want to roll down like a back fall, you can do that. But those with harder floor surfaces aren't gonna want it. All right, so we're gonna do several sets, a couple of sets actually, uh, five each side. So left hand up, ready, one. Two, three, four, five, switch sides, right hand is up, left hand is on the mat, moving the left foot, and one, two, three, Four, five, and switch sides. Left hand is up, right hand is down, moving the right foot. And one, two, three, four, five. Right hand up, moving the left foot. And one, two, three, four, five. All the way. Good. All right. Um, go ahead, grab a quick drink of water. We're going to turn to our stretching. In just a moment here. We are about 15 minutes in, so right on schedule. Yeah, all right. Find yourself a little bit of space again. We're gonna start off with our stretching. Um, today we're gonna be focusing on our stretching a little bit more on our lower half because we're gonna be doing kicks, but still, standing up. Next, circling. Switch directions. Good, shoulders, big circles, just on the shoulders. Getting as concave and as convex as you can. Still breathing. Squeeze forward, squeeze back. Switch direction. Good, and arms, big circles backwards. And down to the elbows. Yeah, I'm still trying to engage the shoulders a bit in this. And down to the wrists. And forwards on the wrist. And then elbows with a little bit of shoulder. And then the whole arm, nice and big, getting as much of the range of motion as you can. and then just the shoulders. Good, and forwards and back for our chain breakers. Make sure you're getting a good squeeze as you pull back. And catch that right arm, pull it across. Did groundwork last night, so yeah, I'm feeling a little bit tightness in the shoulders from that. Switch arms. 
by the way, that's already up on YouTube. So if you're catching this one, you can go back and watch that one if you missed it yesterday. And right arm goes behind the head. And left arm goes behind the head. Good, shake it out. And easy back twist. Make it active, think about what you're doing. Think about the muscles you're trying to engage. Think about the muscles you're trying to relax. Switch to your elbows. Bend those legs, make the muscles strong so they can protect your knees. Good, and down to the hips. Good, and down to the knees. Again, start slow, start easy, work your way slowly deeper and deeper, switching directions as you go. We are warming up muscles in a range of motion. And this will help strengthen them and will also for today warm them up so that they're useful for our kicks. We have nice strong knees. Good. And picking up the right foot, rotating circles. If you want to try this, if you've got good balance, try closing your eyes. It's really going to force you to balance on that one leg as you're doing your circles, five each direction. Switch feet. I opened up my eyes and in just a second I'm going to try to play up. I try closing them. We'll see how this goes. Oh, not so good. Eyes open again. Good. And reaching up side stretches. Just a little bit to kind of feel what's tight. Feel those back muscles stretch a little bit, those abdominals stretch a bit. Good, all right. Um, I'm gonna reach high up. Keep out shoulder width apart or hip width apart. Forward fold, swan dive down. Remembering to breathe. And hands slide up your shins, elongating the back, activating the muscles in the back, forward fold again. Bend the knees, ragdoll up, and hands come up, and swan dive down, forward fold. And slide up the shins, straightening the back, forward fold again, try to keep the back straighter. Good. From here, walk the hands out or shoot the feet back, depending on how much space you have. You're going to go to a high plank position. Hold this. Low plank. Lower yourself down. Slide the hips forward, upward dog. Try to relax the glutes, let the back muscles relax into the stretch. Tuck the toes under, drop back, downward dog. The goal is to push those heels down to the ground, but if they don't get there, that's okay. The real goal is not pushing the heels down, the goal is stretching. So easy, if you want, start walking out, out a little bit. Take the pressure off of one leg so that you can put transfer it all to the other one. It also shifts the angle of the stretch so that you're getting different muscles. And high plank, low plank, upward dog, downward dog. And high plank. From here, take your right leg, 
sweep it up, hold it up as high as you can. Try to keep your hips level even, so probably you want to drop that right hip towards the floor. And from here, bring the right knee up to your chest, hold it, and now step all the way through so your hand is between your, between your hands. And we're going to come up into a side kick stretch. Left leg is turned slightly in, right leg is turned all the way out. And I'm going to drop my weight down and back, trying to feel the stretch inner thigh of my left leg. If you step forward with the other foot because you're watching me in some sort of mirror image world, that's cool. What's Superman's uh, mirror image counterpoint, dude? I'm sure someone knows. And roll up on the ball of your foot, dropping that knee down. And put that knee all the way down on the ground, still pushing the hip forward. And dropping the chest down to the ground. My right hand is going to go underneath and around my right leg, dropping the chest down. Feeling the stretch in the back of the right leg, the hamstring. And untangle a bit, take that right foot, bring it all the way back so you're in a high plank. From here, go low plank, upward dog, downward dog. And now left foot comes up as high as it can. Keep the hips parallel to the floor though, so drop that left hip down probably. Come forward to a high plank, bringing that left knee up to your chest, hold it. And step on the left foot, turn that right down so that you come up in a side kick stretch. Right foot is slightly in, left foot is out facing forward, oh. dropping that hip down, feeling the stretch on the inner thigh. And rotate up on the ball of your foot, dropping that hip forwards and down, putting the stretch in the front of the right hip, in that right quadricep. Maybe you'll feel it in your back. Dropping that knee gently down to the ground, still pushing that hip forward. And dropping that chest down to the ground. Left arm goes underneath and around the left leg. Breathe, remember to breathe. Inhale through your nose, exhale into the stretch. Good, and untangle those hands, drop that foot back, you're in a high plank, low plank, upward dog, downward dog, Good. Now take that right foot, bring it all the way forward. We're going to do splits now. Hanging down, forward fold and splits, side splits. And gently lower yourself down to the ground, still trying to maintain the stretch. And forward fold, trying to put your chest down to the ground. You want to reach out those hands, those fingertips, crawl them forward. Walk the hands over to the left foot. And through the center over to the right foot. Good, and bring those feet in, butterfly stretch. Pushing down on the knees. If you're flexible enough that you can just do the fold, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna divide this kind of into two stretches for myself. One is gonna be trying to open up the hips with my elbows. And then I'm gonna fold forward, trying to open up my hips by dropping my upper body weight forward.
and relax. Do a little bit of windshield wiper on those hips. All right. Now let's take that right foot, tuck it behind us. Want to stretch out those quadriceps. I'm actually pulling this back a little bit, trying to open up the front of my body in here with my stomach, chest, hip, and thigh, trying to open up that angle as I stretch. You have to release a little bit on the foot to change it. Go ahead and do that. Remember, there's a lot of different muscles in here that you can think about stretching, so you've got to pick which ones are most important to you. Good. Now we're going to sit up. I'm still going to leave my feet in this uh, S position, and I'm going to drop my chest down to my right, to, sorry, to my left foot. I like to put my left hand on my knee, so this is kind of like a half butterfly stretch for me. Good. And from here, I'm going to shoot my right knee a little bit further back, rotate up more. And this is almost like a yoga pigeon pose. So my shin is not quite uh, parallel with my chest or perpendicular with the way I'm facing, but I'm trying to get there. Good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left foot the one that's in front of me, and I'm going to kind of tuck it under and to the side, and now I can try to open up that right hip again. Uh, for those of you with back issues, for some reason I find that this helps me stretch out my uh, right hip and abdominals a little bit better than some of the other stretches because it helps stabilize my back. Just something to try. Good, and release, and now we're going to turn to our right, switch the S, grab the left foot, tuck it behind us. On this side, I'm able just to plant it on the ground and lean back. This gives me a better quad stretch, but I don't, it's harder for me to get the abdominal uh, and real hip stretch without leaning all the way back, so I'm going to switch it at this point. Good, and sit up. Chest is going down to your right foot, half butterfly. And turn up into our pigeon approximate pose. Maybe this is a carrier pigeon. It's not like, you know, the pigeons you normally see. Uh, what are those pigeons that are no longer around? They're all extinct. Passenger pigeons? No, they're not passengers. They don't take people. I think it is. Oh, yeah? All I think right. that is the name. And take that right foot now, tuck it under and out of the way off to the right so I can drop the left hip down to the ground. Good. All right. Um, let's not move. Keep the knees where they are. Let's just turn. So now we're, I don't know what we call this one. I've got the knees wide, feet are tucked behind. I'm trying to kind of thrust the hips forward, really forcing those hips open. Up. And tuck back, relax, sit down. Let's do a little bit of windshield wiper. <laughs> And then what we're going to do, uh, you know, we skipped a couple, I skipped the back stretch, so I want to get that in. Um, putting left leg down, right leg across. I'm going to hug the knee into my chest. This stretches that hip again. It's probably like the fourth or fifth time we've done it in the last 15 minutes, 10 minutes, but hey. Right hand goes behind me. Left elbow goes outside my right knee. Back twist. And switch. Right leg down, left leg tucked over, hug that knee into your chest. And 
And left hand goes behind you, right elbow goes outside your left knee. Back, long twist using the arms. Good, and untangle. And if you can, take a second, just roll out your back. Hopefully your floor surface is not too hard. If it is, then just make sure you're not getting the spine. I'm kind of doing a, a, a circle here so that I'm not rolling up and down my spine. This would also be a perfect time just to get out a towel or something so you can roll it out. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick break right now, grab another quick sip of water, and then we are gonna go to our kicks. Um, What we're doing today is, again, like we did last time, um, we're going to be kind of moving our way slowly up to more and more difficult kicks. I just selected a handful of kicks at one. We should always probably be doing every workout. And then tagged on to a few of them that are new from last time, uh, a couple of at white, yellow, uh, green, blue belt. Um, so maybe not all of you are going to know all these kicks. We're going to try to really quickly describe them. Um, do the best you can. If it's enough of a reminder for you, then just go with it. If it's not, then go back to a more basic kick. Remember, the most important part of this is you're practicing something, you're getting a good workout, you're not putting any stress on yourself uh, any more than you need to. You're just trying to have a good time here. So, um, now that you've gotten some water, let's come on back up to a stand. You need to kind of fix your, your pants. Um, I'm going to rock out my hips real quick, shake it out a little bit. All right, we are gonna start with stretch kicks. Um, should be familiar with everyone, to everyone. Um, starting left foot forward, right foot back. The idea on this is my leg is gonna come up as high as it can, keeping a good posture, and then rotating on the support leg, okay? I don't wanna stretch my knee out, that's not the, the purpose. I wanna get a nice, easy stretch, trying to keep a good position, and of course, stepping forward, okay? so. I'm going to move my water bottle a little bit out of the way. So, sorry, left foot forward, right foot back. I watch my head on my low ceiling here. Stretch kick straight up and down. And one, two, two, two three, two, four, two, five, two. Switch, right foot forward, left foot back, straight up and down, stretch kicks. And one, Two, three, four, five. Good. Switch. Left foot forward. This time we're going to do our out to in stretch kick. Slightly different stretch. Works on a slightly other balance skills and extension skills. So, left foot forward, right foot back, out to in stretch kick. And one. Two, three, four, five. Switch, right foot forward, left foot back, and one, two, three, four, five. What's that? Good. Switch. Left foot forward, right foot back. This time we're going to do right leg into out. So I'm going to come up, come close, open up, step down, and then come back. All right? So we're going to be doing five right, five left. And one, two, two three, four. Five, switch, right foot forward, left foot back, and one, two, three, four, five, good. All right, take a second, roll up the hips. All right, next we're gonna do one of our old traditional kicks. Rear leg front thrust kick, all right? So the basic idea, again, is we've got a nice natural stance here, bringing up the knee first, but I want to bring it up high enough, pulling back the toes, and then thrusting forward, 
okay? We're in here, we're gonna pull it up, thrust forward. I wanna punch that foot out like I'm punching someone with the bottom of my foot. All right, so we're gonna do uh, five left, five right, five left, five right. Now we were mixing it up enough. So left foot forward, right foot back. Ready, one, two, and back. Two, two, three, four, five, all right, switch. Right foot forward, left foot back, kicking with the left leg. And one, two, two, three, four, five, all right, switch. Left foot forward, right foot back, kicking with the right leg. If you're like me, you're not, I'm thinking about counting, I'm thinking about what I'm else I'm doing today. Think about those kicks. Make it a good thrust, good punch with that foot. Ready, one, two, two, three, four, five, good, switch. Right foot forward, left foot back, left leg kicking, five more, one, Two, three, four, five, good. All right, roll out those hips, maybe knees if you need to. All right, next we're gonna do. Uh, wow, I'm taking longer than I thought. Okay, um, we're gonna go to. Uh, we're gonna do some knees. No, no, we're not going to do knees. We're going to go to roundhouse kick. We're going to do an easy, really roundhouse kick. Um, we haven't done this one in our videos yet. So we're starting off in a nice, natural fighting stance. I don't want to be too tight rope. I don't want to be too deep, all right? I like being about shoulder width width, slightly longer than a shoulder width of length. So slightly longer than shoulder width, but I've only got about a shoulder width of width from here. One, pick up the knee. Two, extend. Three, retract. Four, step down. Notice that I've gone through the center line. I need to try and push this power through the target I'm hitting, not just barely touch it. All right, so one, two, three, four. All right, so left foot forward, right foot back. We're gonna do five left, five right, five left, five right. Rear leg, roundhouse kick. Osa, ready, one. Two, three, four, five, switch, one, two, three, four, Five. Switch. Left foot forward, right foot back. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And switch. Right foot forward, left foot back. And one. Two. Three, four, five, and come back. All right. Um, any questions on a roundhouse kick? Um, I realize that because of the angle of the video, it looks like, or the camera, it looks like I'm kicking way through the target. Um, I'm actually just moving maybe, you know, six inches past my own shoulder. Because of the video, though, it looks like it's way out there. So keep in mind, we want to make sure we're kicking through the target. But on this, you don't necessarily have to kick all the way through unless you're doing that style of kick, OK? I wasn't this time. You could be, OK? Um, all right, next, we're going to do, uh, let's do front leg roundhouse kick. This is a, um, for us, we usually do this about green belt, uh, yellow to green belt, teaching this. So we're going to start um, right foot forward, left leg back. Front leg roundhouse kick. So the idea on a roundhouse kick, remember, is coming 
trying to get force going horizontally from the side through a target this way as compared to punching through here. So if we're doing this front leg roundhouse kick, we're probably thinking like a groin level target, maybe stomach. Uh, if you're flexible and fast, you can be going over for head. You might be going for knee. That's totally cool too. Just if you're going for knee, try not to drop your vision down to look at it. What we're going to do is turn this hip over as we pick up the knee. We're going to begin turning it over here and extending through so we come from the side, okay? All right, ready. Right leg doing the roundhouse kick first. And one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two. Switch, left foot forward. Ready, one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two. Switch, right leg forward. And one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two. Switch, left foot forward. And one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two. Good. All right, questions on front leg roundhouse kick? Just a comment that going that fast, there's no time to put your weight your foot down and back. So I was having to retract my hip all the way without putting it down to get that pace. Yeah, um, yeah. on this front leg roundhouse kick, boom, I'm coming in there. It's a, um, I'm doing a hip shift and I'm not necessarily extending and moving forward on this. So I'm not doing that. Um, I'm hopefully counting that their distance is a little bit off and I can get in there, okay? Sometimes I will close, sometimes I won't. On this one, I wasn't, so good observation. Um, okay, let's go, we went front leg roundhouse kick. Let's now go to front leg side kick, okay? So, we're gonna start right leg forward again. The easiest way to do this is in a side stance. It's gonna make it easiest to do it. You're gonna have a chamber extension, retract. I closed distance because I fell, so I'm gonna come backwards. It's a little bit more challenging to do it slightly more open, because now I've got to chamber and extend as I do it, right? Boom. And then I'm gonna come back. Regardless, as I'm doing this kick, I'm dropping weight forward, and now trying to, I'm gonna have to come back. If this were a sparring situation, boom, you simply chase in, follow it up with whatever you want. All right, right leg, front leg side kick. I'm gonna do this one sideways. Um, and I'm gonna aim for, uh, Sometimes thigh, sometimes midsection. I'm usually not gonna go ahead on this today. I'm gonna go either thigh or midsection, okay? Ready, right leg kicking first. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two. Good, switching, left leg kicking. And one, two, two, two. Three, four, five, good. Turning to the right leg kicking again. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, good. And switching to the left side. And one, two, Three, four, five, good. Okay, uh, a couple thoughts on this, watching myself in the video. There is a tendency to begin dropping these hands down and using them to counter torque. Remember, front leg side kick is probably just over a jab length, and if they're taller than you, because they're a bigger person, because they're the one beating up on you and you're practicing your self-defense, then you may run out of length. And they're gonna see the hands drop before that kick comes in. So make sure we're trying to keep those hands up. Also, rotate on the support leg. We don't wanna drive off the heel, because now our hip is torquing as we try to extend off that kicking leg, and that leg locked down on the ground is gonna be putting pressure on your knee, okay? All right, um, with that in mind, let's go back and do another round a uh, front leg roundhouse kick, and then another round of front leg side kick, okay? So, um, as we're doing the front leg roundhouse kick, let's go to Mindy's comment. 
And what I want you doing is not just throwing it up there and coming right back down here. Let's close a little bit of distance, reach a little bit. Pretend that they're slightly out of this jab distance, and you're going to have to reach out just a little bit on that roundhouse kick, okay? So we're going to start with, sorry, we're going to start right leg first. We're going to do our kick. And I'm going to go a little bit slower so you've got time to come back to your nice stance. All right, ready. Right leg forward, left leg back. Right leg is front leg roundhouse kick. And one, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two. Switch. Left leg doing the kick. Left foot forward, right foot back, left leg kicking. Hands up. One, two, two, two. Three, four, five, good. Right leg forward again. And one, two, three, four, five, three. Left foot forward, right foot back, left leg, front leg, round house kick. And one, two, two, three. Four, five, right. switch, right What's forward, that? left leg back. We're going to side kick now. Make sure you're rotating on the support leg. Give yourself the time to come back. All right, so starting with the right leg doing the kick, your choice, five, midsection, even head. Ready, one, two, 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 three, four, five, good, switch, left side, and one, two, three, four, five, and back to the right side, right foot forward, left foot back, ready, one, two, three, four, five, and switch, left foot forward, right foot back, left leg kicking, front leg right side kick, ready, one, two, three, four, five, all right, hips rotating around, questions on either of those kicks? Yeah, um, so I might have I might have been able to see the answer, but I want to ask just to be sure. On those side kicks, I feel like to get an appropriate like I guess thrust from it in that type of speed and that type of distance, and then to like really yank back into the chamber to start, is that appropriate, or are you kind of more uh, is the entire motion forward? Because I think what I'm feeling is I'm like chambering, chambering back a little bit and then. Okay, so here's, here's a good, that, that gets at a good fundamental difference in a couple of kicking styles. Um, one kicking style might be to drop back and now thrust this out, right? And because I'm leaning back, I can really feel like I can get an extension because I've got that time in there, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'd say usually then you either telegraphed by shooting your weight way off here or you simply shot your weight away from it when you're losing stuff with a punch. So when I'm doing this, I'm trying to stay in my natural fighting stance as much as I can. I will shift back a little bit, so maybe I'm instead of 50-50, I'm like 60-40. But then as soon as I pick up, I'm falling into it. That then gives me something to push off of with this support leg as I'm doing the kick. So I want to push off this support leg pushing up on the ball of the foot. And that's where the force for me is coming from. So I don't really like that shift off with mm -hmm. aggressive chamber here. Instead, I'd like to see if I can chamber here. Okay? And this is a okay. great exercise to do at home in front of the mirror or turn on your camera and watch yourself on your laptop is mm -hmm. just trying to see how high you can get this, working on these muscles and then translating that to your kicks. So ideally, you're going to end up with like an L-shaped motion on the foot. Okay? Okay. All right. Thanks. Other questions? Okay. Um, 
Got about four minutes left, so just about perfect. Got through everything I wanted to. Um, so let's just go ahead and take a little bit of a cool down stretch. Worked a whole bunch of leg muscles and some side and back trying to do this. So find your space again, shake things out first. A little bit of twist. You got some crackles in your back as this happens. I don't know, maybe that's good. I think it's good. Good, shake it out. And let's start with hands high, feet, uh, feet about shoulder width apart. Hands high, forward fold. Bend knees, ragdoll up. Forward fold again. Bend the knees, ragdoll up. And believe it or not, I'm not too worried about the hamstrings right now. Those have probably been overstretched. So what we're gonna try to do is focus a little bit on some of the other muscles. So let's go about two shoulder widths apart. We're gonna do a forward fold. And now come upright, we're gonna to turn to the left for a side kick stretch. And roll up onto the ball of your foot, dropping that hip down. Gently put that knee down on the ground, still pushing that hip forward. And from here, I'm gonna put my right hand down. My left hand is gonna reach back and grab the top of my left uh, right foot and pull it in. We got a different quad stretch than what we're usually doing. As I'm doing this, I'm trying to make sure that my knee can rotate forward. So I'm actually on the bottom of the quad. I'm not on the kneecap with force. And then I'll squeeze in just as best as I can from here. Because I've relaxed and I've pushed the hip forward, it's gonna be a little bit tighter of hold than you're used to. And gently release. And come up, turn to the right, side kick stretch. And turn up on the ball of your foot. For, uh, lunge, lunge, crescent lunge stretch thing. Knee down, still pushing it forward. And left hand goes on the ground, right foot grabs the left, uh, right hand grabs the left foot. Pull that quad, that heel in towards your glute, stretching your quad. Remember, you don't wanna be with your weight on your kneecap on this, so try to relax enough that you can uh, flow through to the top of, to, to the bottom of your, of your thigh. And gently release. And from here, let's just sit down. And we're gonna go into our S position. Uh, right foot forward, left foot back. Drop my chest down to my right foot. I'm gonna put my right hand on my right knee. Not only am I trying to kind of stretch out my hip, but as I do this, I can add a lower back stretch on the right side. And switch that S. So left foot is forward, right foot is tucked back. Chest down to the left foot, left hand on my left knee. Remember to breathe. Good, untangle. Um, find some space to kind of lie down, feet out in front of you, hands out to the sides. Pick up the right foot. Put it on your left knee, and now let that right knee roll over towards the left for a gentle back stretch. Try to turn towards that right hand, reach out, look towards the right, try to keep that right shoulder on the ground as you let the weight of your right leg twist you to the left. And bring that right leg back. 
extend it out, left foot comes in, put it on your right knee, not wait on it, just kind of touch. And now looking to your left, right knee shifts out, left knee shifts out to the right. Breathe. Reach those left fingers away from you. Try to keep that left shoulder on the ground. Good. And from here, you're going to roll up onto your front. Tuck your, uh, put your hands uh, very close to your body. What I want to do is a uh, gentle sphinx stretch. So I've got my elbows supporting the weight of my upper body. Feet are just long and out behind me. And I'm trying to relax my lower back muscles. Feel your glutes relax. And lower your upper body down, put your hands next to you. Sit back into uh, yeah, the, whatever this is, um, some baby thing, right? Child's pose. Child's pose, there we go. Oh, child's pose, leave those arms long. Try to sit your hips back towards your heels. Take those hands, swing them around your body towards your feet. Let them hang gently. Lay on the floor. Good. And take your hands, put them next to your knees. Help yourself sit up. Oh, all right. So another good workout, I hope. Um, thanks for joining us here at Temple Young Ado, Temple Hokkido, Philly Young Ado, whatever it is we're called. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on YouTube, uh, follow us on Facebook, whatever it is. Do all that stuff. Um, hope you had a good workout. Um, it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon, so I'm going to go out and enjoy it, maybe by mowing the lawn. Yay. Um, so, thanks for joining us. See you all soon. <laughs>